But relationship with money was toxic in my mm. in my opinion. It wasn't mm. a tool, as mm. I said earlier. Yeah. Mm. It was something you. It's, it was a, it was attached to identity. You don't need money to survive, bro. <laughs> and that's and that's uh, we knew you need value to survive. Mm -hmm. So va money is an extension of that value, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you cannot preempt how much you're going to make in the next ten ten years or mm -hmm. in the next two years, mm -hmm. the next one year, I couldn't get to na pan. Only kalongo longo to no one. So that's the kind of thinking I have. Be the best, bro. Yeah, just be the best. Where uh, accumulate value, create value, mm -hmm. and then use that to negotiate in spaces. Mm -hmm. So if you want a hundred million, you have to create value. What's the hundred million? Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of Financially Incorrect. I am your host, Barack. And remember, this is a podcast sponsored by FX Pesa, who are on a journey to educate 1 million people on financial literacy. So share this podcast with your friends, share it with your family, share it with anyone so they can pick up a lesson or two and FX Pesa can be able to hit their target. Remember, you can check out their trading platforms and their links um, in the description box and you'll be able to find out more about them. I'm going to read a couple of episodes just to recap, or rather, a couple of comments from a couple of episodes we've had just to recap some of the feedback we've gotten back from fans. This one is from the Githua Ngaria episode. And Muriuki Maina says, it's an amazing episode, especially for guys like myself, who like to hold such a position in the future. He's the CEO of Madison Assurance. Key takeaway, be wise with money, invest and save, have a bit of fun with money, but consciously and don't compare yourself with other people's journeys. I remember him specifically saying that, um, investing isn't fun. And a lot of people say that it's fun and pretend that it's fun, but it's not. Um, another one, uh, values and standpoint. The marriage institution is not the same experience for everyone. Christians and Muslims have very different experiences marriages. The age we get into marriage and our partner's age really play a role in our sustainability, education, and some primary goals of being an individual. Background and our social economic circles. And are also a thing that tap into our potential and nudge our visions and ideas. Okay, that's interesting. Another one is bring Manu Chandaria and his son, Dashan Chandaria, to the show. So I'll tell Collins and she go, yeah, you'd get, you know, <laughs> Manu Chandaria on here. And we'll see how that goes. Anyway, for today, I have another guest, um, really exciting guest. I'm really excited to meet him. I was just telling him that I first met him when I was a teenager, about 15, 16 years ago. Anyway, but he's a hip hop artist, a shengpreneur an eisenhower fellow and we yeah. have giuliani yes today with us how are you doing nice sana, man. Uh -huh. yeah. sana, sana. so how are you doing other than cold because i know you've complained about the the ac yeah, yeah. Oko I'm, I'm perfect man. Mm -hmm. i'm perfect yeah yeah how's 2023 been so far uh the word is perfect you know what my because every time we ask about how Mm -hmm. It's a Kenyan thing. Mm -hmm. But for me, everything is always amazing. Yeah. yeah. I know you had an exclusive show not too, not too long ago. Uh, uh, yeah, um, at KCC. At yeah. K yeah. 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 How did that go? It was amazing because we, we did a show for 100 people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, premium, of course, cost, premium uh, payment, mm -hmm. 5K. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Um, the whole city line to when I check you see mm -hmm. no, no. so it was really amazing was all your fun mm -hmm. we recorded it so hopefully we'll start releasing the, the, the new visuals. Music. yeah uh, yes speaking of I know there's the there's the gentleman I've seen the images I've not seen the video but I've seen the images for the gentleman yeah um, total man no? yes oh, sorry total man the yes video, yes yes the video, yeah. yeah yeah this looked uh, yeah so what we did with that we, we just did an invite to men who, mm -hmm. who want to show up mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and then they showed up and then we did a video. Maybe a question on that. How do you go about concepting and idea, ideating what your music, what a music, what your music video would look like? Like how do you, what's the thinking process behind that? I think when, when you're writing music, you, you personally, what I do, mm -hmm. I, I look at the whole, the, the whole, the wholesome experience mm -hmm. that I'm saying from, uh, writing it to performance, to how it look, mm -hmm. to the impact or or what I like the, the audience to uh, mm -hmm. capture from the whole mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's easy. Everything now flows. But the, the idea, the, the, the writing part is the most important. Once you figure mm -hmm. out the writing, then everything else, everything else uh, takes shape. Yeah. And of course, you, 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 you try to... Uh, mm -hmm. um, 
consult, ask mm, people what mm. you think about this, mm. what comes to mind when you mm, see this, when, mm, you, when you hear mm, this. Mm. And then that information helps you. Do you think it's like, so if I'm, if I'm to reference the, the total man, the, that the specific images that I saw, because I saw you had Kimanzi, I think you had, um, I don't know if Seth goes was, Seth was, wasn't, no. Seth, Seth wasn't, but there was Kimanzi. I remember seeing like three different, um, uh, Mutinda, Mutinda was there, um, a couple yeah. of gentlemen. And my, I guess the question I want to ask is, um, the people they were portraying and the way that they were dressed, is that ideal Kenyan ideal Kenyan man? Are there men who actually dress like that? Because I don't think on, a, on an everyday basis. I've they seen, should be dressing like that. Because it's, it's like that. F, yeah. uh, when you do that, when you dress up like that, it, it has nothing to do with just showing up as, that you took time to take care of yourself mm. and to appreciate who you are mm. you know, and to have the best. So I've, I've, uh, and that's the message actually we're trying to portray from the song. We're mm. saying you're a total man. Either una, una kiatu, you're in the office, you're CEO, but how do you show that you're a total man? Mm. Just by how you take care of yourself, mm. how you, mm. you're, you're keen about certain details. Yeah. The suit part is always it, because it visually looks be good, not because otherwise you're song about my T-shirt, my jeans. My rapper, plan, when I want to try to do but yeah. when visually looks good that men took time to dress up okay yeah i'm going to ask you a financial question off the bat um which which i'll go back to a bit later but the financial investment and roi on doing a music video what's the thinking behind doing a music video like how do you try and um uh, get as much value from doing a music video in this country like what's the money of i think i think the word you the, the, the right word you use is value mm. so we don't arrow if, if you say these are um, what I want out of all this, mm -hmm. um, one is what does value look like? Mm -hmm. Financial part, there's influence part, there's interest part, whatever you, you, you are keen on seeing at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Financially, uh, for me, I, I focus on brand value mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So brand wise, because the brand is what will bring the money, not the mm -hmm. music video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the music video is, is the same way Saf, Saf or you guys will, will put up a billboard. Mm -hmm. But it's it, it, a music video is, and, and the way you post online or whatever, just to position the brand for people to see what you are for or what you represent. And then yeah. they align with that. Once they align with that, then the, the, uh, the financial ROI mm -hmm. now comes. Mm -hmm. But for me, the most important is the, uh, is the brand value. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's get into it. Um, start at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> start at the beginning. I know, I know Dandora is a big, a big, uh, a big part of you, and I think yeah. um, that's where you initially grew up. What was that like? What was... It was home, so it, I didn't know any better. Mm. I didn't know it was a good place, bad place. I didn't know. Later now, I find out that it was uh, set up by the World Bank. It was a full estate. It's your car, Madario, where I'm not seeing game back, so I don't have any, but... Mm. It was set up by World Bank, mm -hmm. so it was well structured. Roads, nini, everything was initially. Uh, the word Dandora comes from na to school It comes from Dan Nadora, so it was a couple, a white couple mm -hmm. who owns a si who owned a sisal farm mm -hmm. in Dandora. So, the whole, like when we were growing up, we used to play Koma sisal farm. Mm -hmm. So that's where the Dandora came to. Then mm -hmm. now, bought by World Bank and the government, they set up a um, middle class kind of setup. Mm -hmm. But over time, of course, see my settlers to come here. See to go and see Madare, and then we, yeah. we showed up. Yeah. Uh, it's a good setting. Um, my parents were living there, so it was home mm -hmm. uh, for 20 years. Maybe if I'm to ask you, before you even talk about your parents, about the history, um, and just what you're talking about in the, the world back and everything that was set up, um, why do you think... Um, is it, I mean, is it an oversimplification that saying, you know, the locals then came in and everything sort of changed? Mm. Or, or is there a more systemic issue? I mean, umijua, anybody who lives, let's say you, you live in Madare, you mm. always want to live in a house, Yamawe. Kila mtutaka kuishi kwa nyumba Yamawe, you know, and so where do you start? You start from what you can afford. Mm -hmm. you know, at that time, Dandora, what was happening is that, so it was Kanjo houses. Mm -hmm. So, Apo Nyuma, you had, um, 
space. So now people started, people who own the land, mm -hmm. who are paying government, mm -hmm. started building stuff, extensions. Mm -hmm. So now extensions is at Gorofa, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. when you come on a grab. Bilo nafanya haksa hii kilimani. Ah, kwanza kilimani ni ghetto. You know, so... Mwezi tuambiene, bro. Ni barabara tu poa na na machainizo wa machanga. Hala is ni ghetto tu ya mawe. You know, so... So it's extension. So what Kaa Sisi we came and then the, the land, la, at that time, the mm -hmm. landlord uh, was really fond of my parents and my mom because of my mom was hard working mm -hmm. and whatever. So he gave our mom a place to go and take the mandazi yapo na chapati. And then we, we lived where we lived from. So I lived there for 14 years. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything outside the area. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what did what did um, I guess what your parents did um, and how your parents made ma made made their money? What impact did that have on you when you were growing up? And I guess what did that make you feel and think and understand about money? But at that time, you, uh, I didn't have any thoughts around it. But now looking in back, I realized that um, how they they mobilize resources to to feed us and to take care of us, uh, how we are earning right now. It's totally different from how they earned mm -hmm. work on earn less, mm -hmm. but they made it work. Mm -hmm. So that's in, in it, it, retrospection, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But also one, one thing I learned about, uh, and I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, about mamambogas, na women in, in those kind of settlement mm -hmm. communities, is that they, they become, in, see loan sharks, but they become, jumse ame, ame vasuti, mm -hmm. and akwanda tao na anafea. Mm -hmm. by Mandazi, and then So those women actually became so central in community when it comes to keeping money. Mwizi mm -hmm. uh, uko, and it's safe for, for the woman to come and uh, that mother to come and, and, and keep the money for mm -hmm. them. So they mm -hmm. became little banks. Mm -hmm. The mamambogas on Aqua Street are my mafia. You know, so those are the things I learned about. And how one how you can use less to achieve more, mm -hmm. and even that's what we're trying to do in our company. How effectiveness means using less to achieve more. Mm -hmm. But you only conversation in Guinea. But um, looking back, how they made little, how they made little to work for them. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was really impressive. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, we didn't look from a place of investment mm -hmm. um, because for them, for us, for parents, investment was taking you child to school. Mm -hmm. That was the best investment you can do for mm -hmm. yourself. Hakuna mm mogonda, nini, nini. At least wajaka ni shule, wakiku ni mogonda. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what, that's what I, can, I can sit back and see. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and when do you first start dealing with money yourself? Like, when, what's your first interaction with Because I was running money. the kiosks. Mm -hmm. the, I was running the kiosks, so I could see the five shillings, the two shillings, mm -hmm. whatever. But the, um, there was no... For us, it was five bob. We had to buy ice cream. Mm -hmm. and, so, you're uh, like you're being given money for working at the working at the kiosk. You're getting. Let's just say of... I was being given. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to maintain for PR purposes. For PR purposes, you're yeah. being given money <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> for working at because uh, you're working at the working at the shop. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and so and with that money, you're going. You're you're spending it on. No, major the the, the mm -hmm. unlike the the unfortunate thing about growing in that setting mm -hmm. is that you always see yourself lacking, not mm -hmm. having. So even the small you have, when I consume so much because you don't know when you'll find it again. Mm -hmm. So now you look our inter our relationship with money wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't see it as a tool. We didn't mm -hmm. see it as a. We just see it as a consumption. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we get done ya luku ya kukula, but. Uh, what money is is an extension of what's there. So if there's a, a, a an already working com society, mm -hmm. I'm a community. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for money to exchange hands because mm -hmm. now people find the value in other things. They mm -hmm. find the value in friendship, and in, they find value in butter trade. Mm -hmm. They find money in, value in all these things because money. Kwanza uh, less mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what are you going to use as an alternative? Mm -hmm. to trade and to exchange value. Mm -hmm. So money wasn't a big thing until land rolled up to get hold it. Mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. it wasn't mm -hmm. occurring. But later now you realize, hey, we're going to buy scale and we're going to buy scale. 
How old were you when you get to sort of that realization? I was like, I mean, I'm, um, Jumia was a Zamer from a young age, so from when I was nine years old or something, I was like, hey, mbona wakona bike na sisi atuna bike. Mbona wase Christmas wakona nguumpia sisi atuna. Mbona, mbona wakona TV. Unaona. So, even in that setting where I, kuna msoto, kuna mm. levels za msoto, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, right, 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 right. Yeah, so, but later now I realized, ah, this, mbona wakona gari. So whoever has a door, they are going to invite you to You know what I'm saying? If you have a door, you are somebody in society. Mm. Mm. Okay. And what impact, what impact did that have on you now? And I guess um, your ambition or your drive for money, has it formed any basis of, I guess, what you've now done with your life in terms of no, money? Um, our relationship with money was toxic, in my, mm. in my opinion. It wasn't a tool, mm. as I said earlier. Yeah. Mm. It was something you... It was it was attached to identity. Mm-hmm. So you you did, did you ever feel like yeah I need to make I need to make money. I need Everybody come down and like to make do. Enda utando yibe. Yeah. Utando nyongane. Utando to me education. Utando to me skill yako. Utando to me talent. So your time ukiwa unasaza maisa football team ilikuwa na kapoa. But the money wasn't the issue. Is is what? Um, I don't know how to explain it. Mm-hmm. Okay, well maybe I get the right place. Itakuja, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I mean before before we got into this conversation we're just talking about I guess the different path and you 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 get into music immediately. Uh, actually how old were you when you get into music? I was in um high school. So I was in form 2. So probably 15 16. So does that now become your like you've talked about if someone was you know playing ball well or doing Nah, we we'll just do it to get the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it for money. Yeah. Uh, money came later because now when when after high school mm-hmm. um like i said everything in that com- in the, in a society is mm-hmm. based on identity mm-hmm. it's not based on money yeah if money can give you an identity mm-hmm. you, you seek it mm-hmm. if being the best footballer can get you the attention that you want mm-hmm. attach it to your identity you'll always seek it if mm-hmm. being you know so by the time I'm in high school then i'm trying to find what what am i good at mm-hmm. so I wasn't good at football. Sikuwa naweza iba pia sana. Naweza iba vitu ndogo ndogo but eh it's time to uliwa unaona because ulikuwa kisho kiba unauliwa man. So I couldn't do that much. Um so now I was, I'm seeing Kalamashaka alternative mm-hmm. seeing them on on kwa gazeti mm-hmm. even I wrote in my lyrics niliona kwa gazeti they are popular they look good they look clean mm-hmm. Madrid you are messag so initially it started that an identity. Later now, when I don't have anything else I'm doing, I'm, I wasn't the brightest guy at, then at least mm-hmm. in school. Um, then I started pursuing music. But it, I, I pursued it because I'm selling the 2K mm-hmm. to perform. One of the one of the songs that you had already. Uh, no, just we were just, just rappers. Just we were ah. never doing okay. our songs then. Mm-hmm. We were just rapping. Mm-hmm. Okay, to a bit na mm. Yeah, it wasn't that yeah, a song. You mm. didn't take that far. Mm. And that time nobody was making money from music that way. Mm-hmm. It was just ah my te- um, 500,000 I mean um 30k. Mm. And one-off. Hakuna yeah. magigi. It was early sana. Actually that's why people think I'm old because it was early in the industry. <laughs> yeah. Um looking back of course. Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't something you go for to look, make mm, money. Look what you do, you end up again. Okay, so you get your two, you get your paid your two k, okay, yeah. and you 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 rap and. Yeah, you make yeah. A I'm on. You look what I'm doing. I'm going to buy a soda and a fry. Yeah. No, So it was. Ah, uh, Kumbi. If, if if I can use this, then I can. If the response you're talking about mm. ROI, that's mm. there is ROI that mm. never rap. You buy a soda. Never rap. You get. I will end up. It gives mm. you an identity. Mm. No, no, no. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Come, um, 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 and then to nanda F2 and then you're doing in F2 you're doing competitions mm-hmm. where you win money to mm-hmm. be the best if you're the best so competitions because of how much at that time um, i guess if you win how first much of all unapata comp yeah the whole year so you can go there for free okay alafu una get a seat next to the 
DJ booth. So <laughs> unawaya feel when superstar sana. Uko naingia yani hata bouncer kusimamishi. Una feel when superstar. Mm. But then now uh, when that setting now uh, okay when competition there is 10k. Mm. There is record label label mm. deals and stuff, mm. a song deal mm. here and there. Mm. But later now uko huyo concussion ya watu because now you have people from Kangware, Jiburu wana meet in that concussion yeah. mm-hmm. then msar kwambi ah ni aje su kam su kam kuna gig hapa that's how you started there so it was a long journey come mm. come to think of it yeah mm. when you get to, so this is the journey that you take before you get to the, the record label before you start um, yeah, you have to it was like a rite of passage yeah. you have to you have to compete with the the best of the best yeah. with the best yeah so ni liko na wachafu ambaye uko by the way Okay. Yeah. And so what does the record label put I guess when they when they do come calling and they come knocking what do they put on on, no, on everybody on, wanted to be a record label because record label means I mean at then at least in a Kenyan context mm-hmm. not in the normal mm-hmm. record label mm-hmm. context is that uko na studio time. So you get to record as many songs as possible and it's possible they they can take it now to radio and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So mm-hmm. that was the understanding. Mm-hmm. But me I was in Ukoflani Momao so we didn't have that kind of setup. Mm-hmm where people invest money now later when i was signed to a uk label is when wali to mado kwa wali to mado wali patia do um they so even before you go to the uk one well, let's talk about ia uko flani so how mm. did it, how did it work at that time money wise what was it yeah ah kuna kitu hapo ile kwa tu ni um um people just trying to rap and get out something out of it yeah. so you don't have money to record so mm-hmm. you get people sending you beats mm-hmm and you rap on it oh mna changa mnaenda mnapata studio time ya wana hawa si ni wana hawa ni 1500 so unaenda mna rias ngoma zenyu ndio mkingi every studio mnachafua 5 minutes mimi naingia next you know na so yeah. it wasn't at that time we were not thinking money mm. but now of course now after high school you're mm. trying you're, uh, my parents are like ongelea fani mm wewe unafanya ngani ni daily kwa nyumba unaona una rap tu kwa nyumba baba so now uh, you start looking for something to do Is there anything specific your parents wanted you to do? Um, nah, my time? parents were easy. He, whatever. Yeah, we jibambe, man. Whatever you just Yeah. Uh, Orosi, but whenever you want to do you, you just go yeah, ahead and do jibambe. it. Okay. So at at um, I guess as part of Uko Uko Flani, do you begin to make money there as a Yeah, as no, a group so there's no money that yeah, comes no, in no, that you no have money, to no because now share. we are we are still young so mm. we 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 cinema ma screen saver to mm. no and like you you're just there because everybody's there so yeah. the big guys are the ones who go for gigs mm. they pay so ni muna was indikishanga my extra kwa movie mm. so you're not paid you just get to be in a different town mm. and at that time how are you surviving because you said you're out of high school so at that time how are you surviving See, how are you I'm doing my mom's Oh, At that time we, we, we moved from now mm. Dandora to mm. now K South. Mm. So we're living it uh, when you're living K South mm. uh, ni, so I'm, I'm helping my mom at mm. the kiosk. Mm. And that's how I get some small money to move around fair and mm. uh, and also I was teaching people how to write uh, music so I, I I was teach uh, I got like <laughs> was saying 50 50 bob a week mm. to finish out to rap mm. so nikona ita school of rhyme mm. yeah so that's how you so made some money so that's how you are operating and that yeah. with the money that you're making because uh, if, if we were to try and calculate if you how, how much do you think you'd be making per week eh buda kuna kitu hapo you can't even put <laughs> I don't even because you're not intentionally making ni marupuru put is in come your way. In, yeah. You're not intentionally making money mm. at going out because you're living with your mom. Mhm. Where borome pata to fair. So mm. when you need fair to move around you'll always find. Mm. Mm. So whatever money that you're coming in you're using it for whatever specific need is there on that. Yes, yes. On yes. on on that yeah. day. Okay. So where's the where does the shift then happen in terms of your making money from music? Where does the shift where does the shift happen? So when we started doing when I got saved in 2005 mm-hmm. um so now we started getting invited to churches to perform to, in churches mm-hmm. so unaenda eh una perform kwa church uh, god, pastor anakuambia god bless you anakupatia baasha mm-hmm. eh hey, unaona hapa kuna mado because ni thick even mm-hmm. baasha ya brown mm-hmm. eh hey, ukifungua even ma 50 bob man una, una boeka <laughs> <laughs> ma 50 bobs na adapt au so yeah. tao tu mepewa and then yeah. that and also we used to do ha- high school um Uh, challenge we can mm. challenge right 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 so that you, now you start packaging mm. music mm. so kuna ka song moja kan ni unaika ina cd and then unauza students mm-hmm. for 100 bob mm-hmm. and and that's how you start making money ya kumupa around sasa and and are you the same one who's selling it you're the same one you're who's you're selling yeah so my was on my perform mm. like ah. what you're doing so now you're doing like an autograph mm. and then selling at the same time mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. And is that when you make the conscious decision? Like with you're seeing this seedling sort of maturing and you're like, you know what, if I do this seriously, um, I'll be able to actually make a living from this. Yes, but the problem is that at that time, we didn't have um, an example of people making money that way. Mm-hmm. Like I at that point in time, how are people making music as far as you are aware? Uh, Celebo wise. So, mm-hmm. ukona Ogopa, uko, mm-hmm. ukona Kalif. Mm-hmm. So, at Ujiwa, I'm making Gidoa. They look popular. Oh, so, but you know, I say, I had to go. You know, I say, I'm not going to be a good So, nobody cares about it. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. not entertainment. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a good story. I'm going to be a good story. So, mm-hmm. nobody cares about you. Sana. Mm-hmm. So, when I sort to, but I got, when I got born again, actually, it opened ways because I was unique in that space. Mm-hmm. The way I wrote, the way mm-hmm. I performed, mm-hmm. it was unique. Mm-hmm. So, now <clears throat> the merchandising part started making sense mm-hmm. and then you get invited because now I have one or two songs that are popular mm-hmm. I started getting invite, invites to perform mm-hmm. yeah but the gospel market is too small mm-hmm. that so nobody can give you 20k mm-hmm. unless those end of year gigs where mm-hmm. you're giving 20k 30k mm-hmm. uh, but throughout the year nobody makes that kind of money mm-hmm. uh, you can make 10k uh, a week or a month but it's not consistent, you don't know, you can't anticipate, mm-hmm. you can't project. Mm-hmm. Mm. So at that time, how, do you, how, how are you then surviving? Even when you do make that, when you begin at the early days of you that, of making that shift, how are you surviving? Are you still doing the shop? You don't need money to survive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that's uh, when you, you need value to survive. Mm-hmm. So va- money is an extension of that value, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. So because... If you want, if you if you want me to come for your gig, mm-hmm. you will make sure and I can be able and I come for free, but so you need a fair and a food. I come. I would only deposit there, but make sure you can have fair and anything. So if you, that's what I realize. So that's why I work so hard in being a good rapper. Mm-hmm. Because once I create value, then value uh, attracts whatever other value that I can get mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's what I learned because Sina Connections, Siju mm-hmm. Mutu, mm-hmm. the only reason these guys are inviting me on the table is because I'm, go- I'm a good rapper. Mm-hmm. Both in gospel and in other space, mm-hmm. I'm a good rapper. I'm mm-hmm. a good lyrics, good performer. Mm-hmm. So that's what the only thing that I focused on. Mm-hmm. Let me ask this question. Actually, it's, 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 a, it's a tangent off of something else. And because I mentioned, I guess, when, when we met, we were, when I met you rather the first time it was in church, what led to that decision for you what led led to you being saved because i i I felt music didn't have any impact beyond words Mm -hmm. so for me i value words Mm -hmm. so how i write i'm so in uh intentional with how i write the Mm -hmm. kind of words i use but was also gonna rap too and then it it go it doesn't go beyond getting a giggle i'm getting a dance out of it Mm -hmm. i feel like words have more power than even in the scripture, it says, in the beginning there was a word, and the mm-hmm. word was God. So the word's powerful. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when, if I touch my words to something more bigger than me, mm-hmm. it'll have more value or mm-hmm. more impact. Mm-hmm. So that's why I go upon again. Apart from, of course, my parents being Christian. Christian. But I felt like it, it had, it had a punch heavy mm-hmm. when it's attached to Christ. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so how long were you then in this space where, I guess, from what I've understood, you're um, performing in churches, you're being given, um, um, I guess, money, well, not, not, to, not to perform per se, but almost appreciation, like a token at different spaces. Um, you're doing your um, school and campus visits, able to sell um, your buyer merchandising, selling your, your records and all of that. How long are you sort of in that space before in the limbo, big break? In a limbo for five years, man, mm-hmm. for five or more. Mm-hmm. Because, but at that time, again, I will use, I'll use this word sana, mm. sana, value. Mm. So at that time, you even don't know how, uh, because you don't know even your brand first. Mm-hmm. You don't know uh, what people like about you, mm-hmm. what they don't like about you. Uh, nobody knows how to make money in the industry. Mm-hmm. So there's nobody you can talk to. No, no. So, but the more you, I did this gig, the better I became as a rapper and the better I know what the audience wants expects of me. Mm-hmm. So by the time you under, under Kwandikangoma, mm-hmm. you know exactly what the audience like about you. Mm-hmm. And then you 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 pivot that. Mm-hmm. So you limbo ni for 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 you to learn for me to learn who I am. Mm-hmm. So focus is not uh, do mm-hmm. focus ni uh, I saw your response when I performed. Mm-hmm. 
now i mean uh, your response inaweza come na hug eh hey, buda wewe mnaoma mm-hmm. na machali peke yake ndo akwambia punch na nilikuwa naoma but waremba kikwambia <laughs> ni different unaona <laughs> mremba kikwambia hey i will love nini atasema ah will want to um, mm-hmm. can you sign this yeah, book for me mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. ah so you, it's an indicator of what people like about you mm-hmm. and then out of that badai msana kwambia eh hey, nilikuwa naanga performance flani kuna kakitu kana hapa hapa kuna trike utakam mm-hmm. You get mm. so iso iso ndio ROI so you just need to be mm. keen mm. seeing this performance brought A B C D mm. so that's a start the waters to catch the fish mm. that's how I, I think mm. no, no. so mm. you do something and then be keen on what's going to bring back mm. is, you, is it going to get you autograph signing autograph will it get you to be invited to a podcast mm. so that's how we learned mm. what I get to offer the public mm. so by the time I was uh, started making money mm. I, I noticed ah my churches on an invite sana na chisi ya chatizi kawaida ni chatizi zile radical unaona <laughs> because hayo nyingine alikuwa natutu si mko tu mko tu kuna dread sisi juu university started inviting me so now i'm noticing hey, people are willing to give me money mm-hmm. to perform it's mm-hmm. not enough money mm-hmm. but now at least siko mtaani more mm-hmm. Mm. Niko hii side nyingine mo siko home. Mm, mm. So I'm, I'm away from crime. Skin imeanza ku glow different. Mm-hmm. No, unaanza kunukia nukia. So hizo <laughs> ma 5k is not up. Mm, mm. Ma 2k is not up. Mm. But it's not consistent. You can't preempt, you can't pro, pro, it's, it's still uh, re- relatively hand to mouth eh, still. Eh, eh. Okay. And now you, it, you can't predict. You always say money next week and I get 20, 20k. Mm. You see salary. Now, nah, but ukipata hiyo 20k, what are the what are the immediate things you're thinking? that you need to do with the Look, money. Look bro, I see. Una need to test, una need to act kama wewe ni artist. That's me. You. Because you're young, yeah. no? Mm. I'm at that time I'm 20. Mm. So I'm still young. So mm. I don't I don't think beyond that. Mm. I don't think beyond looking good. Yeah. Eh looking good um, food a uh, food ama ta food na kula raisi food man you always uh, uh, exact that's what i'm yeah. saying yeah. um, kitu ka food ni unaipata ngatu kila pahali mm. you don't mm. need to plan for it mm. <laughs> in an african setting you yeah. don't you have food, to plan food you, food you will find you'll always find okay so tell me about the big the, the big break that then comes into in in, in the in the music career and i mean this i guess financially whether and i don't know what big break may mean for you i don't know whether it was the record label i don't know whether it was a performance like where you're like okay this was a big this was a this was a good check even now looking back you would say yeah this was a good amount of money that i made for me it was gradual mm-hmm. so and i saw so i didn't look from i didn't look at it from a money point of view i look at from who's inviting me where mm-hmm. so when an ngo i know when nini was happening netwaji global forum or something it can happen up okay kasarani something uh, global forum and then an ngo invited me to perform ha it's not a church it's not a club it can hit some kumbe mimi see ana ko willing kunipata 20k so hizo vitu hizo indicators zile nisaidia to map out my path but now when i was called by emmanuel jal to be signed to his label you know then so hey kumbe i have something now the rest i was like um like all the rappers you just uko tu yani uju wangi unafanya okay get invitation naenda whatever but that but also when i started demanding more for my performance mm-hmm. i told her, hey niaji you inviting for a performance i need to have a band set up mm-hmm. i need to have equipment mm-hmm. backline mm-hmm. even if you're paying me the same amount of money mm-hmm. and get, get me a backline mm-hmm. so when i start asking for what i want mm-hmm. then hapo nikajua ah kuma mimi nimeanza kuwa arti sasa hapa then after that ndio sasa now to ingia level ya do now mm-hmm. ndio mm-hmm. I was sent 300k to do my production for my first album. Mm-hmm. And then now I was in the, in the record label. In label. And how did that conversation go? No, I just got a nilikuwa na Alcatel ile Alcatel. Gani flip ama flip gani bro? Ni Alcatel ilikuwa blue ndo alafu nilikuwa naifunga na rubber band hiyo sitokani. And then I got a phone call Uh, and then that time kwa Muhammad I was staying na Pastor Boss. Jua kwa unamjua kwa. Yaani pasta bwana alipacha pale noi. Eh alikuwa hapo sasa nimekuwa babi sasa niko hapa ngumo. Ameni rent ya kahao, ameni he rent one of his house and alikuwa anaipa 5k. So albo and then I saw a phone call. Sikwa banane. Uh eh the long the number is long. I tell you fit your screen. And come here. Ah jala we really like I saw some your performance I really like blah 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 we want to sign you eh hey, sikulala bro yeah 
So na hapo hapo mliongea details ama ulisema ni No they'll call me they'll yeah. do a letter of intent. Mm, mm. So, and then when they did letter of intent I I, I called one a friend of mine to David Kuria. Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia eh hey, sahi ni make it sahi. <laughs> me, me, I'm international. <laughs> Not like, I need a manager. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then I called David, you need to help me with the contract. Mm-hmm. So we 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 saw the letter of intent. Mm-hmm. After the letter of intent, now they do the contract. Mm-hmm. So after the contract um yeah, and then they okay. told they, they, they're going to get me a staff. Mm-hmm. They're going to get pay me monthly. Mm-hmm. Uh they're going to make sure my we do an album and mm-hmm. then we did it. Okay, mm-hmm. so maybe just for I guess for our audience, just to break down how um, the process of a record label contract and how both the artist and the and, and, and the record label make money with a record label contract. Yeah. So you said they they were paying they were, they were paying you monthly. Monthly, mm-hmm. and they have a staff for me. Mm-hmm. They have a publicist and everybody to admin to take care of my needs. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, and then they've sent money for you to be able to do the album. Yeah, to be, the, the, for the album, and then there's an upkeep. Okay. So okay. come echo. Yeah. <laughs> and Na- then yeah. and then how they make their money is from recouping. Mm-hmm. So from the album sales. And they recoup everything. They everything upkeep um, and they have everything. to recoup. So they do like a budget for everything mm-hmm. and then over time now they start recouping. Mm-hmm. Once they see if they're recouping enough, then they can either reinvest mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. to grow the brand mm-hmm. and whatever. So my first album is owned by the UK label actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at that time we don't have a contract. What do you do? Do you move out immediately? And yeah, here time. Umoja, I'm glad I I had David Kuria to help me read it out mm-hmm. and figure it out. Mm-hmm. But the truth is me I was just excited. I it it validated who I, I who I was. Mm-hmm. Like I felt I was I needed I needed I, I can be more. Mm-hmm. But there was nothing beyond where I was. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see anything. At that time you had Jokali mm-hmm. now becoming Alcona the Motorola g- deal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all these guys are doing big gigs. So they look big, mm-hmm. but now looking late in Kenza, it, they, were, they were big, but they were not making that much the way we assumed mm-hmm. from what Wadanora mm-hmm. got to Nana. Mm-hmm. 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 What did you think he was making? What do you think they were making? Nah, I mean, we thought they were making, I mean, even if they were making the 10 millions, mm-hmm. but that only happened once after mm-hmm. three years. Mm-hmm. Or so five years. Or by... And it, at that time, it was only Juakali. Mm-hmm. The rest in Marupurupu too. Mm. Ni tuanga magig weekend ma weekend mnaenda mm. kwa bar ni mm. so i realize I'm like they have to, there has to be more man mm. there has to be more mr ku anafanya hizi mara ndio zote so it it changed how i started looking at how my 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 career as an artist so you finding out and it would actually would this assumption be correct you finding out how much i guess your predecessors or people before you were making or not making made you feel like no there has to be more than there has to be more because for me i i felt like even nowadays i tell artists so if you cannot buy a house in kilimani Mm. is house i'm a chinese Mm. um now Mm. now 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 Mm. if you can't make that decision right now Mm. one two if you cannot preempt how much you're going to make in the next 10 10 years or in mm. the next two years, mm. the next one year. I couldn't get to Napanya, only Kalongo Longo to mm. Nona. So that's the kind of thinking I have mm. when it comes to. And then if you cannot focus on making a shilling a day, mm. on how do we build up? Because we always take a mere that one phone call as an artist. That mm. one call, phone call, neither for a gig, I'm on your brand, want to work with you. Mm. Mm. And it sometimes it never comes. Mm. So how do you create value <clears throat> that you attract now? interest in people <coughs> yeah. to work with you yeah so you <clears throat> so the same concept the same strategy i use when i was trying to be a good rapper mm-hmm. the same i create value and then i attract mm-hmm. I, I attract resources yeah towards that value okay mm-hmm. so what are the things that you now do to create that value intention be the best bro yeah just be the best for me i'm the best at what i do bro mm-hmm. so that's one two start the waters to cast the fish mm. So even Taka Bank, what I have at Taka Bank on resource recovery, what we have with DHC, what we have with how I do my music. Mm-hmm. I don't release songs every day, mm-hmm. every week, mm-hmm. every month. It's, it has to be intentional mm-hmm. so that I know. <clears throat> because initially when we were doing our gigs, you're doing 20 million a year. Mm-hmm. And then Skumoja, the, part, the person you're doing a partnership with, you be a Buddha. This thing is not working. Mm. <laughs> mm. So that's not sustainable. Mm. And that's what how that's how our industry is. Mm. So I felt 
that's that's not so how do safari come think every day yeah. so that's how i started thinking uh when i do a music video how do i make a shilling a day yeah and then how do i make a shilling a, an hour mm-hmm. how do i make a shilling a minute mm-hmm. how do i make a shilling a, a, a second, a second? Mm-hmm. so that's the kind of thinking okay Nikonayo, yeah. So that's the thinking that you have even at this point. Well, maybe maybe not <coughs> as elaborate, but that's the general thinking you have even as you're doing this. You're 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 getting into in this first record label deal. No, I you when I'm too excited. You see when you're thinking. But I'm, the only thinking I had, I had to be the best mm-hmm. at what I do. So I started doing live band. Yeah. So nobody was doing live band then, mm-hmm. at least in the urban setting, mm-hmm. urban artist. Mm-hmm. So I started in, uh, incorporating live band and DJ in my sets. Mm-hmm. So yes, only for 30K, mm-hmm. but I'd rather share it with five people and mm-hmm. they make 5K, but mm-hmm. and as I could create value. So I do a Julian and I perform in a band. Mm-hmm. But when you perform in a band, when I come to play a series as an artist, mm-hmm. other than you come to DJ, when I get. Yeah, yeah. So when I started doing band, uh, I only 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. When you look at 14. <laughs> <laughs> so when yeah. I started doing band yeah. now, so add value. The more mm-hmm. add, you add value, you attract yeah. whatever yeah. kind of value mm-hmm. you've created. Mm-hmm. So that's how I saw it. Okay. Mm. What's, if, if you look, looking back now retrospectively, what's the next big step that you make you know, after this first record label? Do they reinvest? Um, do you get into a second, third al- uh, album or, or deal, or what? What's the next big thing that happens? No, uh, for me, I, 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 after the first album, I felt, uh, um, and I, I was studying away, and when I, I was really, I was, I really was studying the industry mm-hmm. locally and internationally, how mm-hmm. people are doing. But at that time, uh, globally, people are getting into 360 deals. So mm-hmm. 360 deals, one, it's not the best, it's not the worst, mm-hmm. but it's ilikuwa ilikuwa na a certain test when mm-hmm. people told you they Maybe were doing, for, for the audience just to explain what we mean by a 360 a 360 deal because initially uh when a record label gave you money they mm-hmm. were just recouping maybe from cd sales mm-hmm. <laughs> you know and i'm a cassette mm-hmm. tape sales mm-hmm. from sales mm-hmm. they might not touch your gigs mm-hmm. gigging gigging money mm-hmm. they might not touch your merchandise money mm-hmm. any other money mm-hmm. whatever so and then at, at that particular time also people are transitioning to digital mm-hmm. So record rebels are our G where to make wame, eh, wame CD CDs na, na ku, and mm-hmm. chini, they, it's a whole new monster altogether. Mm-hmm. So they came up with that. Um the three sixty three sixty deal. So now to na mangia kila pali, we mm-hmm. we cool off, uh we eat from your merchandising, mm-hmm. from your distribution music, from your performances. Mm-hmm. Any anywhere you make money to kona kichwa, to kona wewe. <laughs> which makes sense mm. uh, because it's it's a bank giving you a loan. Yeah, they're just relooking at the loan again, mm-hmm. you know. And so, so I I that's how I parted ways with my my not parted ways, but I just told them I just want to do this by myself. So mm-hmm. my second album was called Pulpit Kwa Street. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, so I only make it yani ni kona garimbeli kwa parking. I couldn't kuna zani ambi and mini superstar, mm-hmm. you know. And so we are making money. Had deals with nani nani nani. If you look at my bios, that time I'm working with World Bank, I'm working mm-hmm. with Google, I'm working with all these people, mm-hmm. giving you money. Mm-hmm. But again, it's not sustainable. Mm-hmm. Because in the way we see the way intentional mm-hmm. every Monday, mm-hmm. every Monday and Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So now I released my first, al- my second album. Mm-hmm. So we did a concert, I closed off a street, city hall way. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I took it up myself. So mm-hmm. I started reinvesting in my career. Mm-hmm. But now when I'm doing pulpit Street, streets, uh, one thing that stood out for me, and that that's the realization that came that all every organization that I was working with, mm-hmm. when you come to them the next day mm-hmm. to do a, a better deal, mm-hmm. well, say, ah, we were our last year our program was climate change. Mm-hmm. Now we have changed to women and and kids. Mm-hmm. So now mm-hmm. we are Mm. Mm. Because, ah, ah, the budget that we were working on was mm. ba- was only on extrajudicial killing. Mm-hmm. That's the name. Companies are hey, we are, we are looking at a different direction. We are not focusing on youth now. We are mm-hmm. focusing on this kind of demographic. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. So that wasn't sustainable. Mm-hmm. So uh, for when I was doing my Pulpit Cross Street album, after the Pulpit Cross Street album, so I started reinvesting in myself. So mm-hmm. I started doing water. Mm-hmm. So I did a 15 university tour. So mm-hmm. I was invest I was paying for all the tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I invited King Kaka mm-hmm. to perform. Mudoni Ed Q mm-hmm. performed. Mm-hmm. 
Jim Nambaru at that time, Jim Nambaru was I, I inviting to be doing the talks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when so the two was called Kama CCC. Mm -hmm. So Jim Nambaru was doing the talks and then Mina perform. But mm -hmm. I am the superstar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. And so, how, how, how are you tying in the water into, into the conversation? So the water was, because mm. as a university, I want to do. Mm. No, no, after 50, so I can't be here. So, okay, but the only way I'm trying to I'm trying to reinvest, invest mm. in myself. Mm. So I'm trying to have a, 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 a water brand. Mm. I wanted to build a water brand. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So they can't afford uh, T-shirts because mm. T-shirts are 1500. 1500. Mm. So, but what? And this price of T-shirts has not changed. I just change. If you look at 1500, you are saying, my fans are not going to be But now it's cheaper. Water. Yeah. Oh, to produce. And now it's cheaper to produce. Then oh. it wasn't, yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh -huh. and then, so, water. so water was okay by magic or gate. Mm. So it was easy. And the car could buy, yeah. So water. And then I did the 15 university tour. Mm. It didn't work. I lost a lot of money because I was we were doing 300,000 per gig. Mm -hmm. And I'm paying everything from band to mm -hmm. equipment to art, to everything. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I'm really glad I did those things. Mm -hmm. So the money I made from all the deals, mm -hmm. I started investing back into me. So, and then I realized now, you see do your Monday, you need to do marketing, you're going to do, you're going to do, that's not business, yeah. where well, you're just doing marketing. Mm -hmm. you know, so then I asked you to look at my strategy again. Mm. A question. Um, on because it sounds like at this point in time, um, when you're doing this, you already have a couple of brand deals. Um, well, two questions one, what is it that allowed for you as an artist to be able to position yourself that you can engage with these NGOs, engage with these um multinational you know um, organizations so frequently? Because I don't know in my recollection, I don't know if there's anyone that I know. Actually, who, I, was, hey, I was saying that yeah. I was in a can you but the truth is, I was yeah. the only one artist who was cutting across. Mm. I was working with NGOs, mm -hmm. working with community organizations, and I'm working with multinationals. Yeah. As the only artist doing that. Yeah. But what I realized is, because now I'm popular, people want to be associate. Mm -hmm. But they don't know how to act with you. So, when you go to boardroom, I have mm -hmm. strategies. I don't want to go to the billboard. So, I don't want to go to the audience. I don't want how to engage my audience mm -hmm. <laughs> so that your product mm -hmm. moves. Mm -hmm. So, I really learned a lot from the boardroom meetings. Mm -hmm. But simply, they were just wanted to asso to associate mm. with the brand at that mm. time, with mm. me as an artist. Mm. But also, I, I saw in, uh, and then I started also being proactive. So mm. now, if I have a concept, mm. I reached out to as many people as possible. Mm. So I used to send uh, proposals. Yeah, uh, and I, I think I was lucky because I don't know what is it about uh, maybe my brand, but people always were willing to go extra for me. So you need idea sana sana. Uh, so I had a really good uh, contact base. Mm, mm. Yeah, any company, mm. NGO. Mm. Yeah. So me going to me about proposal on an NBA. We are not looking at that. We are not going that direction for now. Mm. And then mm. because uh, our strategy always, in, if you know somebody who's who's big in a corporation, mm. then deal ni raisi. Mm. Knowing who is in who, who 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 and who's. Mm. It a deal, but that's not a good strategy mm. because oh, Jama, I remember I did a deal with some guys for Chagulatinis mm. just to show up at Chagulatinis. I was mm. paid 250k. Mm. Hey, look on a feel. I love for Kwa Hama. Mm. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 showbiz. Hey, Hama, sasa ni mengi hapo mini Julian. I love my fans on my line up. Hapo, and I got to my autograph. I'm gonna feel yani. So, but after Apo Jamaka, I got a job. Mm. So now, Ikeisha. Ikeisha, you, so you'll never come back mm. and do business again. If that person, so I realized that's not a good strategy to do business mm. where you you depend on individuals mm. to, to be able to, to generate to build, build business. Uh, so yeah. for me, first look on the value, but now you can move to now individual. Mm. Where who do, who do you know? Mm. Mm. So it didn't work for me. Question there on the brand deals, I guess, because now you're talking about work with a couple of brands with the with 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 the figures that you can give us. I guess at that period, biggest brand deal that uh, that you signed within that period. The biggest I think we did was Safaricom, mm -hmm. uh, Safaricom Live. But you look because in the but you look on pole pole. You look on the monthly. Mm -hmm. It wasn't at the bulk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most of the deal ni a million there. 
2 million there, mm. 500,000 there. Mm. Whatever. So see at any bulk at any see your 10 million. 10, 10 million and, I, and, I, and and that also peel in from sana because for mm. me I was like even say I was telling the reason I haven't done a deal for anybody is because uh if if you if you're offering me 2 million it means I haven't I haven't shown value mm. or my negotiation skills reason. are not the best. Mm. So I don't have negotiating tools mm. to show you that actually I can get you more mm. at all if you give me this amount of money. Mm. So EOP I can change how I think and how I strategize. So that's why I started the Taka Bank DHC mm. as negotiating mm. to bargain. No, mm. So mm. I'm, I'm, I can literally, and now we have something called Juliani Access mm. for corporate and small businesses. We have Juliani Jeshi. Mm. Specifically, when we come to the table, Nambia, actually your brand will get more value if you go this direction. And so, so we are the one telling you. Mm. So that by the time to get to 10 million, uh, we need to talk about 100 million maybe. Mm. 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 Then it was at least one million target. Mm. Mm. But initially it was random to mm. 20k parle, 2 million parle. It doesn't make sense. Okay. Was there a shift in your mentality? Um, because obviously you talk about coming from a place where um, resources <clears throat> were quite limited. Um, but now you're in this place which seems like it's in a space of abundance. Was there a shift in your mentality in how to operate and deal with money? You've talked a lot about the investment in yourself. Is there anything else that you were thinking about doing and things like that? Yeah, I mean, for me right now, it's, it's the, I, I'm going back to the original, mm. the basic, where I uh, accumulate value, create value, mm. and then use that to negotiate in spaces. Mm. So if you want 100 million, you have to create value. Worth 100 million. And then when I have a conversation with you, you have to talk about your ROI is more, more than what mm. I want you to give me. Mm. So mm. if I do a negotiation with you, your company, mm. uh, conversation should be in the next one year, two years. Not conversation year. To touch as a concert, I'm to touch as a concert. Mm. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Because yo, I, don't, I'm not, I can't guarantee you that I'll do 20,000 people. Yeah. And I can't guarantee 20,000 people will buy your product. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, if you have a journey, a one year, two years, mm -hmm. we might do more together. Mm -hmm. It will cost you 20 million to do it. Mm -hmm. That's a better conversation for me, safer conversation than, mm -hmm. than to party and any, this, I'm the biggest brand and I have more followers mm -hmm. than anybody else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, what about your, what you as Giuliani are spending your money on? So for example, you mentioned you know, two cars in the parking lot. Um, Does that? <laughs> that? That's mm -hmm. a, so, and then mm -hmm. that I start, started reinvesting back in myself. Mm -hmm. mm, it, I don't need. Other side gonna gonna die, but me, I'm good with a car, Uber. I can use Uber, carb. Mm -hmm. I do one meal a day. Does the show? Did the showbiz element ever kick in and say, you know, I need to 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 drive a car that my you know audience? Of yeah, 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 yeah. That that's I, what we were told. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Look when she does Anna, because now my first car was a starlet. It look when manual. Mm -hmm. That hill. Yeah. 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 Benz, eh, hey, sasa feel. And then I bought a convertible. Sasa mm -hmm. yo convertible ni kuna Tesla mbae. Mm -hmm. On Sunday na ikatu yo top yeah, down ya. Yeah. Yeah. Na salimi ya tumo fans kwa matu. Yeah. You know what I So, <laughs> nilikuwa na feel. But iyo, it was necessary, it was necessary ndo nitoe kwa system. You feel, looking back now, you feel it was necessary to talk a system. Yeah, I needed to try this kwa system. Because yeah. I come from a place of luck. Mm -hmm. So, the, uh, so we were being told, uh, ukiwa na e garden. People, you, if you ask, if you come with a Benz, you can people give you money worth that Benz. Mm -hmm. So if you go to talk to brands, mm -hmm. when they up on a Uber, they mm -hmm. That's how the perception was then. Mm -hmm. So the goalposts kept changing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, nah. So so I'm talking, 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 I'm So always goalposts are going to change. People telling you, for you to be the biggest artist, you have to behave this way, do this, mm -hmm. do this. And then it was a sustainable because mm -hmm. ah, you have to have bounce. Ata saai bado, niki kama apa, people expect you to have bouncers. Ana piga piga watu, kuna kuna na pia apa. Na if ana 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 record marils, ana record reels. It's all good if that's your thing. But mm -hmm. for me, I'm like, who jamaa kaki wana mi mi apa is wasted time, wasted energy, ange kwa na itumi ya kubuild. Mm -hmm. For us to build another business, mm -hmm. kind of. mm -hmm. so me and I move solo that way. Mm -hmm. We're a team working now. Mm -hmm. So 
the goalposts kept changing every time you're an artist. Mm. As a brand, you have to behave this way. You have to do this. Ah, Kaeni uko bana hizo. So me, I'll get to decide what. So for me, as a brand, is value. Mm. How much value can I create, mm. and how can I use it to negotiate in spaces mm. to help my community, mm. to help my business, and to help the country. Okay, interesting, interesting philosophy. Um, in fact, even in many, in many Changanya, the question I was going to be asking. Oh, gonna, <laughs> like, gonna, yes, 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 yes. In the NGO space, in this NGO multinational space, right? Um, in, is your model a, like? Are you applying for grants, or I is it, do. or is it because of who you are and what you have done and the value that you're able to bring? You then go and just have straight direct. I don't work with NGOs this. nowadays. Mm. They invite me for stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, I'm, I don't work with NGOs as much. Though, the mm. Council of Ambassadors or WWF Kenya. Uh, uh, okay, so, so initially it was they call you. We have this campaign. You want? We are going to pay you. We don't have a budget, and then on mm-hmm. a And then now, when we're doing DHC, uh, when I set the center up, mm-hmm. um, they they. Normal way you could apply for grants, they run mm-hmm. programming. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, even the programming, they will tell you what you need to do. Mm-hmm. So you're not what you think is impact. Mm-hmm. So we refuse. We, we stopped taking money. Mm-hmm. So we invest in ourselves. So for me, thinking me, if I have one shilling, how do I make it to be two shillings mm-hmm. in everything I do? Mm-hmm. Even if I I do five hundred shillings to get five shillings, mm-hmm. if I invest five shillings to get five shillings for the next two years, mm-hmm. then it means it will be more than. Your five hundred. Mm. So mm. that's the mm. thinking now. So in a mancha, shed all the baggage first, mm. and then build from there. Mm. So that's how I, uh, So I, I don't work with NGOs much. Mm. Even corporates, we uh, we work. Our, our relationship is different. Mm. Mm. I come in as a partner, not sponsor. I don't want you to be my sponsor. I want you to be my partner. So mm. that's the thinking. Mm. Now see, and, and you know? the, the difference between partner and sponsor. Like, tell me or explain to me that difference and shift when it comes to sponsor the contract or the, sponsor the money. We are giving you one shillings, one shilling, mm. one million, ten million. We want 50, 50 posts on IG. Mm. We want you to do a photo with our product. <laughs> we want you to, to mm-hmm. do appearances and whatever. Nothing mm. wrong with that, I'm mm. just saying. But I know ROI, apart from association. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm saying, let's do that, but also let's do this. Mm-hmm. You know, partnership. Sponsorship mm. ni, ni endorsement you have used to me. Mm. Do, do a picture with my product mm. and show up mm. and do billboards. Mm. You know, sponsorship. Mm. I know how I call mm. but it's not tangible. Mm. But I over time. Mm. But I'm just saying, let's do that, but also let's do this. Mm. With, I have products mm. that can help you achieve. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so... Let's get an, obs- an obscure question. In the music industry, financially speaking, in Kenya, who, who, who do you look up to? Who do you think is doing some really good stuff? Now, I mean, I'm looking, for me, it's Yangali I'm, I'm mm-hmm. just looking at um, in the music. Mm-hmm. So I have a product, Nito Maim Sani, mm-hmm. where we are trying to see how do we create, how do we give facility to artists mm-hmm. to do their videos, to do whatever. Because even the guy who built this building, mm-hmm. he didn't use the money to build this mm-hmm. building. They used the bank's money. Mm-hmm. So I, in the creative space, we are the only ones using our own money to do things, mm-hmm. which is not bad. But also, in a manisha, una do, una kakando. So that's why I'm an artist. Una float. At, uh, mm-hmm. So you need float to move. And you need float. And we need to think from five to ten years. Mm-hmm. When we float here, five to ten years. Mm-hmm. Or runway at two years. Mm-hmm. To really create a product, mm-hmm. I must a startup that mm-hmm. works. Mm-hmm. So CC, not I could do music video, I'll put all my money on the music video. So mm-hmm. I don't have enough left for something else. So that's not sustainable as an industry. So that's where how we are as an mm-hmm. industry. Mm-hmm. And then you only have a few people making money. Mm-hmm. That's not an industry. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's if everybody makes uh, for few people, meaning maybe five artists and then five creatives, you don't make that kind of money. Mm-hmm. And then you have was on a do events, wakochini, mm-hmm. water. So then they make salaries from the whatever. So the industry is working, of course, but it's it's not. Uh, I, I couldn't do it. Me pumpy wandani. 
they're using their mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is not sustainable so in a manner, they, are, they can't plan for their money well mm-hmm. so if you have an external investment it's easy because now we can anticipate for the next two to three to five mm-hmm. years to mm-hmm. ten years mm-hmm. how we want the direction of mm-hmm. the industry so no in my opinion nobody is making that kind of money mm-hmm. to be able to they're making Fair. money yeah they can make they build their house or chauko mm-hmm. big house okay <laughs> But yeah. if you're using your money, yeah. if you even building your own house, if mm. you're not using the bank's money, mm. but I wanna do. I wanna do. If you're mm. using your money, it's mm. not, I wanna do. Mm. And we're still, we're still, we're still, we're, we're still, still using there. our money yeah. because because once you do an investment, mm-hmm. right now, if you put 10 million in this building, mm-hmm. it will take you another 10, 10 years, 20 years to return investment. So in a manchau meacha shimo. So even if you have money, you don't have money. Yeah. But if you have 10 million and somebody has put 5 million on that product, then mm. you still have your 5 you million. Have your five, yeah. Yeah. Million, yeah. That allows you to, 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 move, around to move around and do other things. Okay. So what do you think? I mean, other th- I mean in terms of uh, external <sighs> external investment, like what do you think for the for the this creative space or the music space to really become like what you've said an industry? Illegal um. money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Hollywood was built. And Hollywood was built. Yeah. By drug money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, yeah. You need you need long term, patient. Mm-hmm. You need patient investment mm-hmm. to figure out the industry itself, mm-hmm. because the market is there. Mm-hmm. So the issue is not the market. Mm-hmm. The issue is investment, patient investment. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so and and you. So the artists need. <laughs> Uh, and normally when I expect from artists mm-hmm. to come and say ah you can create a credit uh, this is how you can cre- uh, create a credit score for us mm-hmm. no is is the outside and the insider to work together to figure out that mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. so that's why we're working on some my mm-hmm. mm-hmm. where how do we create a credit score for somebody making 10 bob 10000 so that they can re- we can invest in their mm-hmm. in their in their creative space mm-hmm. so that's the thinking okay uh, What's the worst money decision you've made? Uh, I won't call it worst, but me, yeah. me, uh, me, me. So me personally, is a kidogo. I, I, I lived in luck. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't like keeping money, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't use it for whatever fallenness. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I use it. So uh, I'm doing. I'm trying to do the reverse, where mm-hmm. I'm not trying to save. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to use it mm-hmm. keep it to do something mm-hmm. yeah so if i have two shillings i'll mm-hmm. put it into something mm-hmm. i invest back in myself mm-hmm. in my career mm-hmm. in my ideas so the taka bank waste management thing mm-hmm. we invest in that mm-hmm. my sanivi invest in that attack any two shillings we put it mm-hmm. uh, so most of your money goes into um any of your different enterprises yeah and kuna concert na do your your concert ni lifanya nini i self funded it mm-hmm. yeah no na because money is a tool Mm. Yeah, I would like somebody else to put money, mm-hmm. but if if nobody's putting money, I'll put mine. Mm. And so, so then, in terms of um, like stuff like a rainy day fund or you know a savings fund for you know if things go south, is that there in terms of? Akuna rainy day. Akuna rainy day. Rainy day, dance in the rain. But the worst mm-hmm. money, the worst thing I've ever done when mm-hmm. I was doing business is mm-hmm. you can never take a loan to start a business. Mm-hmm. You take a loan to build a business, to mm-hmm. scale a business, mm-hmm. not to start. Mm-hmm. That's the worst mistake I've ever done. Mm-hmm. Because now we 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 do, we raise some small small money, mm-hmm. and then na idea, i idea ni kali, i idea itaweza i kwanza i kilepuka. Ah wapi? It takes three five years, man. So you never take a loan to start a business. Mm-hmm. Take a loan to grow a business. Mm-hmm. That's the worst. Money decision. So you so you you lost you you lost that money. Ah, my auctioneer will gonna come. We na chungule kwa dirisha. Yeah, because you 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 don't have you need you need even if it's two million you need you need time to build yeah. business a business. Most of the business that we build, all the ideas we have are new. Mm-hmm. Uh, the audience is the market is not there or mm-hmm. it's there but you need to find it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it takes time. By the time you build a business, it mm-hmm. takes probably five years, three mm-hmm. to five years. Mm-hmm. It took Amazon. 15 years yeah. to make a to profit to what, to <laughs> no one yeah. no one Net, netflix so. bado so, <laughs> so, no one you see so when you look at when you when, when, i guess when uh, look at you is it fair to say that music was really or is really more of a tool um 
that has you know, put you in a position that has allowed you to do these other enterprises and things value, that, you, bro, value. that you do. Yeah. Music. As long as you create value. So yeah. music in an, is a good business card. Mm-hmm. People are willing to listen to me, dog. But I come and see a point. Yeah. Oh, you need deep. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not far up with any musician. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. It opens doors. I have friends who are willing to listen. But I, as I said, music is good to inspire, to mobilize. But institutions mm-hmm. are the only thing that can. I want to come and work with New Nyapa, mm-hmm. institution to institution, mm-hmm. not Juliani to institution. Your mm-hmm. then it's mm-hmm. not a fair mm-hmm. not a fair negotiation yeah so music has been a really powerful tool mm-hmm. for me but also the process of writing music and doing music helped me to do other businesses mm-hmm. because it's the same principle mm-hmm. so how much would you say that you need to because i know you said um um surviving is neither here nor there but how much do you live on then in in a month like how much do you live on and how much do you need to make to be able to maintain um, your lifestyle. Nah, me is not. It's not. Me need me need cheap date, bro. <laughs> Nick, I don't eat. Okay, Nick and my wife, Nick and I'm toy. So, um, an easy hundred k, one fifty. I'm easy. We don't need to live parent. We don't need. Mm. To, I don't pay rent or whatever. So, mm. but just that, you, you, my life. I don't have an expensive lifestyle. Yeah. Most of the money is to invest in ideas mm-hmm. and hope it works mm-hmm. okay looking into the future 10 15 years now um financially speaking what would your failure look like if you failed 10 15 years from now financially speaking what would you look you like? don't fail bro <laughs> even if even <laughs> in if, a vacuum even, even if you, even if you lose we win mm-hmm. Give me, give me an answer. <laughs> Even if you do what would, win. What would, okay, fine, yes. So there's lessons in failure. There's, you know. I couldn't have lessons in failure. I'm not talking about lessons. People say, Even if you, you lose, only you fail if you, you only fail when you stop. Even if you lose, we win, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, so financially speaking, give me that in context. Even if you, even if you fail, you win. Okay, watch, I'm not trying to be philosophical yeah. about it. Um, mm-hmm. So when I was growing up in the Dandora, bro, uh, you know, 20 years ago, that's the worst place I've ever been in my life. Mm-hmm. Because not at the life-wise, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just worst place because I didn't know anybody. I didn't know my voice. I didn't find my voice. As an artist, as a person. That's the worst place just because of that, not because of the environment. Mm-hmm. So now I'm way beyond that. Najijua. Mm-hmm. Uh, ideas that I'm implementing. Nikona resources I can mobilize. I have to be perfect based on that mm-hmm. that I mm-hmm. and that I can sit with an idea and I want to do a concert on top of KCC and I can do it. Mm-hmm. That's the best place I can be. So that's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. I don't lose. We, mm-hmm. Even in losing, we win. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. As we wind up, um, I'd ask you a more and hopefully you can give me like a practical response to this. How did you end up setting up, I guess, through your musical journey and these different enterprises that you set up, how did you um, actually set that up and how much capital did that, because even if it was a reinvestment, how much capital did it take and what kind of team did it take to set up all these different things? You nataka, nataka ujibu, see a TED talk, yeah, you know, work hard and, 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 you know, keep the faith and everything will work out, no, but like say, you know, like actually tell me like this is this is this is how I went through it. This is what I used. If you build a startup, you don't you don't you don't look at how much you put in. If mm. you because you're building a startup, mm. so whatever marupurupu you can get, you put. Mm. And then if you don't have the money, you stay until until it comes until it comes. And then so we are so I see even my career. I saw it as a startup. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it as until you have an external investment when it's startup, bro, or until I can project. Mm-hmm. finances and say in the next 10 years this is how we're going to make and this where we're going to make that money mm-hmm. so happened to for the le, for the last early until whatever of my career that's the struggle mm-hmm. i had mm-hmm. where i can never project how much i'm going to make mm-hmm. for one mm-hmm. and i can never plan who needs to be there for mm-hmm. me to make this money mm-hmm. and what kind of environment i need to be at mm-hmm. to make this money so that's the, was that has been the problem that's what we've been trying to fix mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. and 
my place in the whole thing. So mm-hmm. kazi yangu ni vision bearer tu. Kazi mm-hmm. yangu is to build, create a vision mm-hmm. and create and delegate. Mm-hmm. And get people to do stuff. Mm-hmm. And to raise resources at the same time. Mm-hmm. So we can never project if you have no external investment. Mm-hmm. You can project about your small money mm-hmm. uh, because awacha ni kama moja ya familia moja ni ni nime get two bob wacha ni. We can only use that. Mm-hmm. But if we have runway, say we have 50 million or 100 million now, then we can easily say in the next five years this is what we're going to do. And this how we, these are the this the roadmap for mm-hmm. us to achieve that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Last question. If you were to think about your 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 life I guess and so far as you've lived it, obviously there are different pivotal moments in everyone's life that things sort of shift and things sort of change. If you were to pick one of those many moments, um, which would you say which what do you think would be the most endearing for you? Which one which one means which one means which one yeah, which one would mean the most to you of the different possible pivots and different possible like key moments that have happened in your life? The ability to write music mm-hmm. that I can a thought can be a thought and then it becomes music mm-hmm. that's for me that's like godly in a way mm-hmm. that's the word god and some like that's creation creating something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and people enjoy the la- words they relate to the words mm-hmm. that's one second just finding myself mm-hmm. that i know I, i get to decide my fate and my mm-hmm. future and i have something to offer you and everybody else mm-hmm. that's second So when I when I'm in sitting in a room like this I'm not I'm not looking at how I'm going to take from you mm-hmm. I'm going to how I'm going to add to you mm-hmm. and then of course having my my first born and my, uh, my second born yeah. and getting married those yeah. are them those are the key ones uh, okay okay that's a good one <laughs> marriage is there pressure there financial pressure uh, bro hakuna pressure katwa kuloga tu kuloga naita kwa sawa takuloga ni bro kuloga ni hapo na mboga hata ni healthy kwanza yeah okay sawa sawa that was juliani really interesting conversation i have learned um a lot about value learned a thing or two about him and his own journey um it's been interesting juliani i don't know if you have one last or one last thing to say atumwambia sana kama mzee atashika by now he's a man sawa all right sawa thank you guys thank you for tuning into this episode um please like share subscribe let us know who you want to see here next and what you want us to talk to them about this was juliani's episode we'll see you next time